You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Days of Our Lives fans. Some breaking news, casting news about Jen Lilly's return as Teresa Donovan. Kind of a recast shocker, and this ties back to a rumor that's been floating around for gosh, a couple of months now that sounded wild. And I was taking it with a grain of salt until something official came out. And now something official has come out, not from the network, but from Jen Lilly herself. Of course, we just saw Jen Lilly back on Days This Week as Teresa Donovan. But don't get too comfortable looking at Jen Lilly because she only shot for a couple of weeks before they recast her role with another actress who seems to already be on cast at Days. We're going to dig in. I'm going to tell you exactly what went down and then let me know if you agree. Did Days of Our Lives do Jen Lilly dirty? All right, before we dig in, if you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our days of our lives, updates, news, and more. So Jen Lilly had contacted the soap, all right, when about six weeks after John Aniston passed away, she said she was thinking about, wouldn't it be great if Teresa Donovan came back for his memorial service? Because she just said she really loved the soap and everything. So she reached out to Albert Alar. He's the guy who just got fired for all those allegations. So she reached out for him and said, hey, if you haven't already filmed this, you know, I would really like if Teresa could be there, you know, what do you think? And then she says they came back and they talked to her about doing 12 weeks of work as Teresa Donovan. So just so you know what that means, they shoot about seven and a half episodes a week at Days of Our Lives. So her being there for 12 weeks would be 90 episodes. If you're not quick on the math, and I had to ask my uh, Alexa device, that is 15 weeks roughly, or 16 weeks. It's a lot of weeks. It's several months worth of episodes at five days a week. So she films for 12 weeks and then it airs for longer than that because they are filming two and a half episodes more than they can air. So Jen Lilly went back to them and said, you know, I can do three, maybe four weeks because she's under contract and she has four kids and all this stuff going on. She says, I I couldn't come back permanently. So she told them max of four weeks. So then Albert Alar comes back to her and says the powers that be. So they got excited and they want Teresa is back. They want Teresa back for, you know, this this whole 12 weeks. And they wrote 12 weeks of scripts already, like really quick, apparently in this during this email exchange. So Jen Lilly, then she was talking to Soaps.com, by the way, about this a little video interview. And she says that she and her reps kind of thought that Days of Our Lives were bluffing when they said they'd written 12 weeks of episodes already. So then she told them that, you know, if they, she understood if they needed to recast because she just couldn't do that many weeks. She called Teresa Donovan the funniest, sassiest girl in daytime and offered to be a resource if they needed to recast them. Then she says a few days later, they called and said, we want you back and they'll, we'll just shoot 12 weeks in three to four weeks that you have. They basically said they were going to have her shooting like 90 pages of dialogue a day. And she says she weaned her youngest child really fast so that she could show up to do this. That's an extraordinary effort. You guys, this is, this is wild. This is almost a soapy plot. So she says she came in in March, 2023. She's all ready to go. And then she had asked Albert Alar some questions because she wasn't getting the scripts in the volume that they had agreed to. And she says she was talking to her scene partners, Eric Martsoff, who plays Brady Black, and then someone else. And they didn't know anything either about, you know, where all these, ex- you know, where these extra scripts were that she was promised. So she had shot for two weeks and then she had like a week or two left. And then she only got one script for week three. And that's when she realized, okay, I think they went ahead and recast me and didn't tell me. 
So she went down and was talking to Robert Scott Wilson, who plays Alex Kidiakis, and he says, oh, no, no, you must be mistaken. So then she sent an email asking, what's up? And the person she emailed pointed her to someone else to talk to in casting, and she says they led her to believe that they would not recast, but then she was like, okay, I'm just going to be gracious about this, even though it wasn't handled well by days. So she says she did what she suspected were the last scenes with Eric Martsoff and then went to talk to Albert Alar again and ask flat out, did you recast Teresa? And he says, well, Teresa is going to do all that we talked about doing, but it's going to be a different Teresa. And she's like, okay, you know what? No hard feelings. She asks who the recast is and he tells her. And she says, what's weird about all this, the girl that they're recasting her with is a brunette, but they had told her when she was coming back, don't cut or dye your hair, which she offered to do to go back to Teresa's old, you know, brunette, shorter hair. And in fact, she said they asked her to go even blonder. And she said, it's weird because the replacement actress is a brunette. And so what all came out, she knows this actress, which means the actress is already working on Days of Our Lives. That's what's very clear from this conversation. And she says, okay, I've been working around this girl for three weeks already. And she says, I know this girl knows. And she's probably feeling really, really guilty. So then Jen Lilly goes to find this actress and hugs her and says, I know this had to be rough on you to keep this secret. I know how it is to be a soap recast because she had actually been a soap recast over on GH before and said that the fan hate that she got was really intimidating and says she hopes that fans are going to show this actress a lot more grace. And this dark haired actress is going to be working in a wig. And then she says the other actress said she felt really bad about it and was kind of shocked about it. Jen Lilly did not name names, but it's very clear some one already working on the show. And of course, the rumor is that it is Emily O'Brien, who's currently playing Grin Gwen Rizchak. So Jen Lilly said she encouraged this actress that she still wouldn't name, gave her some pointers about the character, gave her her cell number in case she wanted to call her and called this whole thing just kind of a horrible situation that this actress was put in. So if it is, in fact, Emily O'Brien, which I believe it is, Don't go hating on her on social media or anything. She was put in a very tough spot. And Jen Lilly says Eric Martzoff didn't know that everybody was mad because they had all been lied to, that the powers that be and the actors that they went to and tapped for it, nobody else knew but them. And Jen Lilly started talking about, you know, I don't know why they did it this way. Like it didn't make any sense based on all the conversations she has had with them. All right, we have a few more tidbits to drop about this, but if you're enjoying this, please click a like. Definitely drop your comments below on whether you think that Days did Jen Lilly dirty and subscribe if you haven't. That really helps the channel and we appreciate it. So just based on the all the chatter and then what Jen Lilly said about the person being on set and she'd been working you know, around them for a few weeks, we have to absolutely conclude that it, it's probably Emily O'Brien and she'll either be doing double duty as Gwen and Teresa or... Maybe they'll go another approach. I mean, they've done it before with both Stacey Heideck and Eileen Davidson with Kristen and, you know, the bank siblings. So it's completely doable. And working on the assumption that it is Emily O'Brien, does that mean Gwen is exiting for a bit? Maybe Gwen leaves town after the whole Dimitri and Leo affair comes out, breaks her heart. She goes off maybe to the UK or wherever to heal. Maybe she goes to see Jack. I don't know. So Emily O'Brien is going to play Teresa for a few weeks, not indefinitely as far as any of this information that's confirmed says. Or maybe she's going to play both of them and until Teresa leaves. So what's crazy to me is, you know, they they absolutely could have Emily O'Brien in the same episode playing Teresa in one scene and Gwen in another. Days doesn't care if they are ridiculous in certain ways, you know, because they just resurrect people. They evil twin them, they, all kinds of stuff. The, Days will do anything. So my big takeaway from all this is if Jen Lilly's side of the story is accurate, and it feels like it is to me, she seemed very sincere. She was reading off info from emails she sent to them. You know, she was taking the time to pull up emails. It seemed very legit to me. My question is, 
Why did Days of Our Lives do her like that with this clandestine recast when she already knew it was possible and said, I get it if you need to do it, sure. I mean, I, if they had been honest with her, I feel like she would have shown up to do the funeral so that if people wanted to see the classic Teresa Donovan, they could. And then do the recast when she had to, they, they could have handled this very differently. It seems needless what happened if it did happen this way. And of course... A lot of this wraps around Albert Alar, who was fired after those allegations. And one of the allegations was that women were treated on set unfairly compared to how the men were treated and that they were laid off more often, both in the cast and the crew. So this kind of vibes in with all that. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Did Days do Jen Lily dirty? And what do you think about this recast? Because now it's it's definitely coming. Whether it's Emily O'Brien or not, but I think it is, it's definitely coming. Let us know what you guys think. Thanks for listening. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>